What's going on guys? You like the new hat? It is just in time for our Austin trip. We're going down to fish with Justin Royal and Jay gone fishing and I'm starting it off the day beforehand because we're going to be getting up real early to make the drive down south and uh, I need to wash the STI. We're going to clean the thing up, make it look spick and span for the trip. We're going to load up the topwater Yakima roof rack and be ready to go early so we can hit sunrise fish and get out on the boat with Justin. It's going to be a good time you guys. Let's go. Yeah, so basically this thing hasn't been washed uh, since we installed the Yakima roof rack. I mean, yeah, it's a, uh, she's a little caked. Let's get her cleaned up. I need to find all the car wash stuff. Pretty sure it's all up here. Ooh, the sun has all but set and uh, she's looking pretty good. First time the STI has been cleaned since the Yakimo top water rack install video, whenever that was. So, ah, sparkling like new. And we're gonna go ahead and get this thing loaded up with some combos. I think it holds like eight. We're gonna max this thing out because we are gonna be doing nonstop fishing down south in Austin. Let's go ahead and get it stacked, ready to go. And now uh, we gotta get some shut eye because I think we're gonna try and take the red eye that 5 a.m. drive down south. Guys, we are just about set up, rigged, and ready for tomorrow. We have the mystery tackle box. I have a fresh spool of line on the Metanium DC, as well as the Corrado DC, which is around here somewhere, and we are locked and loaded. Uh, Justin and Jay say they're hitting on the deep diving cranks, and you know we don't hit the deep waters a lot, so we don't have a lot of them, but I did find Carl's Amazing Baits Shiver Crank, six to 10 foot diver. We have it in the OG Sexy Shad, and then also Midnight Shad. Curious how those are gonna work, as well as one Guggen Squad crank that dives down to 12 feet. So we have a few options, but I know he's got the colors they like and the depths they like on deck, so we're excited to see him tomorrow morning. We are gonna try and hit the thing just after sunrise, guys, so we're waking up bright and early. In fact, let's load up the STI. There we go, guys. Rods are loaded up. We will catch y'all in the morning. Morning. 5.46 a.m. Getting ready to get the show on the road. Hey. Guys, it is 8.50 in the morning. We just made our first stop. We had to get some makeshift life vests. But anyways, we're pretty close to Justin's place, so let's go ahead and see you guys on the boat. Second quick pit stop, we're gonna be out on the boat all day, so we're gonna grab a little bite, have something on the boat for us to eat. I swear we're gonna get to fishing today. Uh, we're just as angry as you are. It seems like traffic lights take longer when you're in a hurry and got plans to fish with people all day and make a long drive. It seems like Chick-fil-A definitely took longer this morning. That's not good. Maybe catch a big one. Justin just caught his PB the other day. I don't even think the video is live yet. Y'all are going to have to check out his channel. We're about to link up. That'll probably be the next shot you see. And uh, you guys are going to get to meet him if you haven't seen him before on the channel. We fished with him once before. He used to do moto vlogs like we did. Definitely got some Seattle type weather out here. Muggy. It's been misting on us the whole drive here, which I think is actually a plus. We were kind of expecting like 80 degrees and sunshine today. So that would just be beaten down on us. But instead, we get a little cloud cover. It's supposed to get partly cloudy here in the afternoon. And I think the temp's going to be real nice. And I think the bite's going to be hot. Catch you all on the water. Guys, we just pulled up. Justin has already got the boat in the water. We're ready to hit this. Got the combos, got the vest, got the tackle. Devin's behind the camera. We're finally here. What's going on? <laughs> Bright and early, we got the access card. Thanks to this man right here. Let's get it. Joop. Hey, we're known for losing keys. He's the safeguard for right here. Woo! About to make the first cast of the morning, 10 o'clock. A little behind schedule. All because of us, but hey, we're <laughs> we're here. Let's get to casting. We have some shallower divers. I, I was thinking. 
58 degree water temp. I was not expecting that. All right, Weston, drive the boat. Just don't hit anything, all right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you saw my moto vlogs. I break stuff. <laughs> clicking and clacking on these docks. Got me excited though. Did you see my rod? Damn, this is clear. Look at this. Look at this clarity. I need to get this jig the hell out of here. <laughs> I need to switch to the. Uh, I had a natural finesse jig like rigged up. I was thinking that little juicy. Unless you want it. This is probably not even going to get down to the bottom right now. Right. Probably honestly a bad idea. I should probably throw a Texas rig with a heavy weight if we're going to. Just depends. Dark. Look at this guy. He looks like a he looks like a smallmouth coloration, but is it? No way. Yo, check this out. It has been a while, guys. Quick update: We're fishing Lake Travis with Justin. The first fish of the day is a Guadalupe bass, which I have never caught, and apparently the world record is 3.91 in the upper threes. And upper three range is the world record for one of these guys, right in the top of the mouth on the little juicy finesse jig which i think is actually i think this might actually be my first catch on this jig if you guys want to scoop some of these up you can actually get them right now on the guggen squad website or on the app 15 percent off with code weston check this guy out he's fat dude Look this is shot. this is a cool little fish right here yeah you never know he could have small mouth genetics in it. it it it's so that's insane you just never know really if it's a pure quad or Hybrid, yeah, beautiful fish and definitely mostly guad. So Justin is saying even if this is some sort of a hybrid uh, It's got a lot of guad in it. The thing is pretty cool. I have not caught one of these before man I'm just pumped first fish of the day. It is almost 1 p.m. You guys we've been at this for a little while We'll get a release shot, but I'm just gonna t dab sure. yeah, definitely. Do you want me to take a couple uh, pictures? Justin's laughing We got a system over here. I, only, I think it's too bright. It's then rotate the filter probably all the way to five you ready? I'm ready. He's, he's thumping. Yep. He's ready. Oh. <laughs> Guys, first fish of the day on the jig. Let's go ahead and ca uh, <laughs> me. Guys, first catch of the day on the little juicy jig. Stoked right off the rock wall here. And let me tell you what, we've been hitting a lot of stuff like this, so my confidence has been fairly low. We just haven't been getting many hits today. Switch to the jig. That was one of the first few casts. I didn't. I definitely have not even casted this thing out ten times, and we got that little guad. Uh, Guad or Guad hybrid. I'm still unsure. I don't want to get this thing wrong because I know you guys will roast me in the comments. Just tell me what that fish was down there. It was a Guad. All right. So he, he, Justin says he don't care what you say. That's a Guad. <laughs> Let's get some more fish, you guys. Couple last minute notes. It's about 58 degree water temps, and we're fishing almost 30 feet depths right here. So that fish was just suspending not too far down on these rocks right here. Uh, we got a nice little point. There's some trees over yonder, so we've got a lot of opportunity to hit some different structure. We're gonna keep fishing, you guys. Uh, you know, that's the tough part for me to remember. I was definitely kind of like popping it and it wasn't very deep. Is that, heavy? that is, that's pretty dang heavy. And so now my attitude has shifted. Like, I don't know if we need to go as low because he was kind of higher up. Like I'm literally throwing a light, this is a light weight on this thing. I was actually debating on whether to tie this one on or the gridiron, which has the same colors and it's heavier. You catch stuff with rattles in it, huh? And the cranks? Yeah, that clutch around here could really slay. Shotgun shed. Definitely shallow over there. Maybe it's just that one little spot. Yeah, that's pretty damn shallow. I must get at least a foot or two though in that back. I'm gonna go over you, but I'm not gonna I won't get caught up unless I <laughs> We're all chunking DCs out here. <laughs> zing, zing, zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> it's the DC family. <laughs> <laughs> We're all throwing DC reels. Devin's got the Scorpion. I've got the SLX and then Justin's on the Corrado <laughs> We got the whole DC lineup out here y'all. 
Devin's fancy ass with the most expensive one. <laughs> yeah, I think that one's the most expensive out of the lineup by like 30 bucks or something. This is my favorite. Yeah, that thing's the bomb. We, all love, beat up. we like that. Yeah, it's oh, fucked. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna hit right here and you get in there. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. You have that mentality. Dumbass. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't have that at all. No, I know but you, I know you don't. I know you don't. <laughs> Oh, that was that was definitely a branch. <laughs> Felt good though. <laughs> I was kind of feeling that same thing when you said that. Oh wait, it's not. Yes. He's had it for a minute. Oh my he god! Because I was feeling weird. Because I was feeling weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. He, he had it that whole time. <laughs> he had it the whole time. It was just swimming towards me. I felt no weight. He was literally swimming towards me, you guys. That was too good. I tried to tighten it up. And and finally, when I did get it tightened, you guys, um, I realized. So, needless to say, we got the hook set. We got lucky this fish did not spit it for having it in there that long and feeling a little tension from the line. But that's, that's yeah. Got him in the boat, number two. Gotta get the other one. Guys. There we go. So I guess this makes the second species on Lake Travis for us. Uh, we're out here having a ball, man. They're uh, up shallow, seemingly. Do you have a bite? Don't mess around. Yeah, reel down and crank on it. Do you have a bite? I think I'm dragging. All right, well, sure. just double check that. That was nice, Weston. Well, you, you were up no, shallow. I'm dragging. Yeah, very shallow. Yeah. Yeah, so check us out, guys. First largemouth, let's get him in the water. We gotta keep cranking, man. I think I think this could be good right here, this little point. No, I was right in the trees too, right in the brush, like in it. Do you want a picture on your Instagram? Because you said uh, you didn't know Yes, the thank you. Oh oh my gosh. Just saying, oh my gosh. Right. Come on, chili bass. <laughs> Although it's a beautiful day out today, you guys, the water is still, uh, well, it's, it's actually a decent temperature, but it's just shifted. The water has been very cold down here, and so, uh, needless to say, he's uh, cruising off nice and slow. The fish are very finicky today. Uh, we're just trying to pick them off, but we've kind of identified the, the jig seems to be working well. So, hey, look at what we got getting tied on up front. We got more jigs getting ready to get thrown in the water. That was literally right in the brush and the trees uh, up very shallow that I got that hit and thought I was snagged. The fish was swimming towards me, so I didn't feel that weight on the hook so I once I cranked it down and decided I better just double check that's when I knew he was swimming with it and I set the hook got very lucky on that catch that was a rookie move right there uh, I literally was talking about how I thought I had a bite you guys just saw it I don't yeah, need to explain awesome. it to you I think I'll be a bite over here <laughs> that's what happens when you fish with Weston Smith <laughs> let's get some more <laughs> I know you even want to throw my little juicy <laughs> give me that big old gridiron you throw the left-handed I don't care <laughs> So I think I have something there. swimming with like it. Huh? I think maybe. Set it, set it, set it, go, 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 go. No! Keep it tight. Go, 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 go. No! Oh, you had him. Dang it. I saw the bite. God wow. dang it. Oh, oh, he was swimming with it and God dang it. He was swimming with it. I was like, I was waiting because I didn't feel a bite. No, that was good. That's exactly what I did. That's exactly what I did. Damn. I'm on this left-handed reel because I feel weird when I set the hook with my right oh, hand. Oh, sure, yeah, that would that would jack me up as well. Glitch out. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a tricky little deal. Oh, got you, bitch. Yes. Got you. That was Come my fish. Oh, the big jig, baby. <laughs> Woo! Raking them up. Oh, number man. three for the number boy. Number three right there. Just got my cameras back on. We are smashing the Guggen jigs, guys. This is the grid iron right here. Three eighths of an ounce. <laughs> I got this neck guard on. I can barely talk. Y'all, the Bandito Bug Fresh Scent Watermelon Red Flake is coming right. in All clutch right, right here. I'm telling you what, if y'all are not stocked up on the Guggen sauce, you can catch a fish, baby, and we don't pay full price. Save thirty percent at Carl's Bait and Tackle. That's the plug. <laughs> Peace. Oh, I didn't get that catch. Oh, this is highly pathetic and again a Smith and Weston move. I literally had one hit uh, So <laughs> Freaking heck dude pissing me off just thinking about it. I'm not gonna hold on. Let me tell you the story while I try and catch another fish I'm gonna let this uh, jig drop down here. So 
Justin and Devin are fishing off to the left. I said, you know what, screw it. I'll just kind of cast out here to the right. The line was, not the line, the jig was almost below the boat and it starts swimming underneath the boat. I said, bam, snatched up the third bass of the day off camera. I do apologize. It was the most hype catch of the day, unfortunately, but I believe we got a bunch more coming now that things have kind of warmed up. The bite's getting a little hotter. They seem to be up very shallow, but like I say, that one was almost like straight out and then as the boat was going by it ended up being like right at the side of the boat here it was just an it was a pretty cool catch I, I i usually am recording when i catch fish but you know sometimes everyone makes mistakes no trespassing no hunting or fishing how are they gonna how is that sign here is that the motor it's 100 percent for sure i'm definitely in the motor you said uh, it's 100 percent okay i'm not in the motor wow Woo! no fishing here Dude, if they are oh, if they were just up against this in the shade, just oh my gosh, this would be such a fun bite. Taking it all in. <laughs> Guys, we're thinking we might have to wrap things up. It's 2.18 in the afternoon. We're trying to make it to downtown to also get a little bit of time in here with Jay gone fishing. So uh, we had a blast out here fishing some sick looking waters, caught some fish. I wish that third one was on camera and I wish all of us caught some fish, but that's how it goes sometimes. I'm gonna catch up with you guys when we get back to the car. See you in a second. <laughs> uh, Got your back, homie. <laughs> Hit a little road bump. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps up an epic fishing excursion out here on Lake Travis with the homie Justin Royal. You absolutely have to go check out his channel. Drop him a subscribe. He's been so kind to us. Literally had the boat in the water ready and waiting for us when we got here this morning. He's even sticking it out. You got to check out one of his latest videos he just dropped with a new PB catch. Absolutely sick. Devin and I are now making our way to the city center. We're probably an hour away, hour, hour away from the city, and we're going to go fishing with Jay Gone Fishing now. So look out for an extra sick video coming up next. Peace. <gasps>